Hi, my name is Julie George and I'm an account manager here at Morago. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the uses of the contacts page of the advertiser account. You can reach the contacts page by clicking on the account settings tab and from there you will find the contacts tab. All fields on this page are editable. If you make any changes, select the tick box to confirm the edit is saved. The first section shows you the details of the main contact of the advertiser account. These are generated when the account is first created, but can be edited here. All correspondence for the account will, by default, be sent to this contact. The second section stores the account manager details. As a system owner, you are able to enter the details of the account manager that you assign for the advertiser. This way, the advertiser can easily reach their account manager contact details when logged into their account. Account managers also receive internal notification emails, such as warnings that the account is due to go offline due to an end timestamp or low funds. This allows the manager to proactively contact the advertiser and chase funds renewal, for example. The third section shows the renewal notification contact details. As mentioned before, all emails are sent to the main account user email address, but this can be overridden for notification emails. Notification emails can be sent alerting the contact that the account is due to go offline or that the account has already gone offline. It might be that a different contact should receive these alerts, so their details can be stored here instead. The last section allows the advertiser to register an alternative billing contact name and address for receiving invoices. It might be that the accounting address is different to the registered advertiser address, so in this case you can store alternative details here. That about sums up the contacts page. If you have any questions, please do contact your Morago account manager.